Pluto had it coming from the beginning. It was it was like it was never really belong. Pluto's orbit crosses that of another planet. That's no kind of behavior for a planet. The cosmos is a theater of vast, unrelenting forces with planets and moons performing a slow, magnificent ballet around their host stars. For billions of years, these celestial dances seem choreographed, predictable, and serene. But in an astonishing announcement that has shocked the global scientific community, Neil deGrasse Tyson has revealed a cataclysmic event that rewrites long-standing astronomical beliefs. Pluto has just collided with Neptune, and something terrifying is unfolding in the distant reaches of our solar system. Before we start, hit the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The implications of this revelation are staggering. Pluto and Neptune were never expected to intersect physically. Their orbital dynamics, influenced by gravity and precisely calculated resonances, made a direct collision almost impossible according to previously accepted models. Pluto's orbit is indeed eccentric and inclined, but it is locked in a 3-2 resonance with Neptune, meaning for every three orbits Pluto makes, Neptune completes two. This gravitational dance has, until now, prevented them from coming close enough to collide. But something has changed. Something fundamental in the mechanics of our solar system has deviated, or worse, broken entirely. The collision was not observed in real time with the naked eye. Instead, it was detected through deep space monitoring systems, enhanced by AI-driven algorithms, analyzing gravitational anomalies and unusual light curves. The impact released a shockwave of radiation and particulate matter observable through high-frequency telescopes, and a bizarre, expanding cloud of debris has been caught in several spectra. It's not just a cloud of shattered ice and rock, it's a maelstrom of unknown particles, interacting in ways never before seen. This event is not merely a cosmic fender bender between two distant worlds. It is the ignition point of something much darker. Pluto, though downgraded from full planetary status, remains a complex world hosting mountains of water ice, a thin nitrogen atmosphere, and a possible subsurface ocean. Neptune, on the other hand, is a massive ice giant, composed primarily of hydrogen, helium, and ices like water, ammonia, and methane. A collision between such drastically different bodies means not only a mixing of materials, but the unleashing of vast gravitational forces, pressures, and temperatures. When they met, it wasn't a soft kiss. It was a cosmic detonation. High-resolution imaging reveals that the collision zone is glowing, not just with heat, but with unfamiliar radiation. Spectrometers are struggling to identify some of the emissions. These are not simply products of known elements reacting. There's speculation among astrophysicists that new isotopes, perhaps even novel subatomic particles, have been produced. In a universe governed by the standard model of particle physics, such anomalies are deeply unsettling. If proven, this means the collision has opened the door to physics beyond what we currently understand. One of the most disturbing consequences of this event is the gravitational ripple it has caused. Instruments such as LIGO and other gravitational wave detectors around the world recorded a faint but undeniable pulse, a ripple in space-time that doesn't conform to the patterns produced by colliding black holes or neutron stars. It's something else, something more chaotic. The frequency of the wave is uneven, jittery, almost as if whatever was created by the collision is not stable. Scientists are calling this new disturbance the pulse. And while it may not pose a direct threat to Earth immediately, it suggests the solar system's stability is no longer a guarantee. The most terrifying aspect of the event lies not in the physical aftermath, but in what is being theorized. That the collision may have triggered a chain reaction affecting the orbital mechanics of other outer solar system objects. Already, irregularities are being detected in the orbits of several Kuiper Belt objects. Trans-Neptunian bodies that once followed stable elliptical paths are beginning to wobble and veer slightly off course. These are small changes, almost imperceptible, but they compound over time. If left unchecked, they could culminate in further destabilization of distant solar system regions, potentially sending icy projectiles inward toward the inner planets. Another alarming possibility is the release of dark matter or exotic energy from Neptune's interior. If the core of the ice giant was cracked open or disrupted by the impact, and if it contained exotic materials, those theorized to exist in the deep cores of gas giants but never confirmed, then what has been set loose might not obey the conventional laws of thermodynamics or nuclear physics. Some researchers are beginning to whisper about proto-singularity behavior a chilling suggestion that a localized point of collapse could be forming amidst the chaos. 
That's not to say a black hole is forming per se, but the gravitational abnormality suggests something with a powerful draw is developing within the debris cloud. Further complicating matters is the electromagnetic signature emanating from the collision site. It is fluctuating, not just pulsing, but modulating in a way that is eerily patterned. The modulation has no known source, no star, no solar wind interaction, no magnetic reconnection. It is, as one researcher put it, unnaturally natural. There is now speculation among Fringe and some mainstream astrophysicists alike that the collision may have awakened or activated a dormant mechanism. Whether natural, alien, or simply unknown, the universe seems to be responding. Satellites equipped with long-range sensors have begun to observe changes in the heliosheath, the outermost layer of the heliosphere where the solar wind slows and merges with the interstellar medium. That region, far beyond the orbit of Pluto, is registering sudden density fluctuations. The boundary between solar and interstellar space appears to be warping, as though being pushed or pulled inwards. These distortions hint that the gravitational chaos of the Pluto-Neptune collision is not localized. The entire solar system may be adjusting itself to a new mass distribution, a new gravitational hierarchy. Theories are proliferating at a fever pitch. Some scientists believe that the orbital realignment that led to the collision might have been caused by the presence of a massive, as yet undetected object in the outer solar system, perhaps the long hypothesized Planet Nine. If such a body exists, and if its slow migration disturbed Pluto's orbit enough to cause a collision with Neptune, then that object is either already within destructive range or on its way out after sowing chaos in its path. In either scenario, the implications are dire. The solar system is not as placid and well-ordered as once believed. Deep space probes are being retasked to observe the aftermath directly. Voyager 2, still barely functional, has been redirected to ping signals off the collision site, and new satellites are being rushed through development to get better eyes on the region. But even the fastest spacefaring machines we've ever built will take years to get close enough. We are, for now, watching from afar as the remains of two worlds churn in cold darkness, unleashing unknown forces. There is also the psychological effect to consider. For decades, the average person has seen the solar system as a safe, distant structure. Stars may explode in far-off galaxies. Black holes may collide in other sectors of the universe, but our own system, our neighborhood, was thought to be stable. This illusion has been shattered. If Pluto and Neptune can collide, what else is possible? Could Saturn's moons fall into its rings? Could Mars be hit by a rogue body? The imagination reels with catastrophic visions. And it's not only imagination being stirred. Certain changes on Earth are now under renewed scrutiny. Minute but measurable deviations in Earth's own orbital eccentricity and axial tilt have been noticed by precision instruments. Some are postulating that even the most distant events, when large enough, can subtly echo inward through the interconnected web of gravitational forces. This could potentially alter tidal patterns, seasonal extremes, or even volcanic activity. The Earth, though 4.5 billion years old and resilient, is still part of this cosmic machinery. It is not immune to the reverberations of a planetary crash beyond Neptune. Planetary scientists and exogeologists are especially concerned with the composition of the collision debris. If ejected fragments of Neptune's interior or Pluto's subcrustal materials are now floating freely, they may serve as samples of environments never before accessible. But these are not benign chunks of ice. They are traveling at high velocities, and some may be on inward trajectories. While no immediate threats have been identified, simulations suggest that some fragments may eventually intersect with the paths of other Kuiper Belt objects, catalyzing further collisions and cascading impacts. There's also an eerie quiet descending upon the scientific community. While public announcements have been made, insiders are reporting increased communication blackouts around military orbital systems and classified observatories. If what is happening is more threatening than currently disclosed, it is possible that national governments are withholding details to avoid panic. Space agencies are no strangers to contingency planning, but few would have protocols for the complete destabilization of the outer solar system. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us? What are your thoughts on Pluto colliding with Neptune? Do you expect terrifying consequences? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.